That's not a protein shake. Handsome man. Yeah, all good, mate. You ain't shit, buddy. Yeah, really? All good. That's not a protein shake. That's not what we need to win this race. Can't blame it, mate. Can't blame it. You touch it to the wick. What earth did you do There she is. Nice, isn't it? We're just saying how good German engineering is with the key card made of wood. German efficiency. German efficiency at its highest order. So, right, another kilometer back down. Let's go back down. Not long now. We're in. Ross has found his bed. It'll be fine on yep. there. And I've got. This little guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's in. He's in. So it's whatever time it is. It's a uh, quarter to nine at night. Um, I like a nice early night. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ross just told me he does his best work at one o'clock in the morning. So he's gonna have to keep the fucking noise down. Sorry, no, sorry. Keep the noise down whilst we're uh, whilst I'm going to sleep. Uh, we're gonna go and grab some food. We'll um, get ourselves sorted, and then we're we're up. And I think we're the first heat tomorrow. So that's something we need to do. We need to um spin this around. We need to check check what heat we're in, what time we're on. We've just seen someone in a high rocks jacket, so we're in the right place, which is good. Just got stung 100 euros for a taxi ride. Winner. <laughs> Winner. 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 Ross pay, I'll pay on the way back, so now I know it should only be 60 euros. Um, yeah, so we'll check back in a bit. Morning team from sunny Munich. Um, it's where we stayed, quite a nice little place. I'm trying to get Ross a shot. It's Guys, great. overcast. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. Um, so we're just going to go to the venue now. It's like half seven. Um, we're going to head to the venue now, see what's going on. Um, hopefully get some coffee and maybe some water so we have nothing between us, which is ideal. Um, and then check in, see what's, get, get, get the lay of the land for this event. Neither of us have ever done this. Uh, Ross actually just watched it on YouTube last night. To see <laughs> I what don't I, even know what we're doing. To see what, <laughs> what order the events are. We're still not sure to see what he was doing, but he's always game for an event, which is really cool. So I put it out on a, um, like he, Ross is also an affiliate owner and also an ex-Marine, so we've got loads of comments, but I, I put, it, put it out on one of the groups we were on and he was straight away, he was like, yeah, I'll do it. When is it? What is it? And he also paid zero attention. And then no, like, no lifting, all running. Yeah. What the fuck? That's a bit of me, that is. Um, so <laughs> hopefully we can find where it is, get ourselves sorted. Yeah, and we'll give you some uh, shots when we're inside. Start finding out what we're about to do. Catch you in a bit. I didn't film the check-in because I know, I knew someone wouldn't do it correctly. Left arm needs to be written on. Look at his right arm. Absolute idiot. Ruined it already before we started. There you go, Ross. Women changing rooms. Ladies changing rooms. start warming up our main concern like we've been on there we've done wall balls we've done running all that stuff obviously before it's the sled on this stuff um we're 125 kilos so we want to weigh up the sled and get pushing just see what it's like we have no idea what it's going to be like on here unfortunately i don't have the rope attached to do the pools so it'll be really cool to get the pools done on there as well but we'll have to see how that goes so let's get warmed up and let's get pushing that sled okay my money is that that's wrong everyone's <laughs> struggling moving the sled here I'm positive that sled's too heavy. It's 125 kilos on the sled, um, and the sled weighs 30 kilos. Um, so I've, I'm thinking it's gonna be one, two, five in total. So I'm gonna go and ask someone who actually works here to find out what the hell's going on. Yeah, Ross is bossing up and down. Oh, I think it's the, I think it's the uh, shoes, Ross has got the shoes on. I've got nanos and no grip, which is ideal. Ross has got his cheetah shoes on. Shit, shit. <laughs> So we just found out the sled weight and basically Ross is going to be pushing the sled. 
<laughs> I just could hardly move it. I'm it's sure he's. Heavy. It's heavy, isn't it? That's one, two, five. I'm sure he's got his mass wrong there. Uh, this guy can't be loading up even more. Last hundred twenty-five. Can you feel me trying to push the sled? Try and punch through it. <laughs> yeah, punch through it. <laughs> <laughs> On the outside, we've got a big TV screen down there which will tell you where you are and your team. I've got no idea what our name is, if I gave a team name or not. <laughs> Who knows? And you can see these all numbered as well. So obviously you go to number one first, number two second, all that stuff. So I'm not sure, we don't know how many laps we've got. We know it's gonna take four minutes to do a K, so it should take about four minutes to do a K for us. So this will be the big run in. So obviously we're filtering here. First event is the ski, so we'd come straight into the ski erg. So you get a timer for your run. We'll come straight into the ski erg. One person will ski if you're in pairs, one person will stand on here out of the way. Saying that he um, he's more like a two sort of burpee guy, one power clean, ready to train. I need a lot longer. I don't know why. I don't need to be going really hard, so I've just done five minute row, I'm gonna do five minute bike, five minute ski. I'll then do a little bit of mobility, I'll then do a little bit of sort of more strength work, but we'll see how we get on. Ross is just mincing around, this is his warm up. We are 10 minutes, 15 minutes out before we need to start. We managed to grab a banana, um, which is ideal. We've worked out what this means now. It was quite hard to not understand when we're starting, so we start at 9.20, that's our start time, and we're team 11. Um, so that's how we can work that out. So we actually now know what time we're starting. If not, it was a bit of a nightmare. Obviously, it's all in German. We don't speak a lot of German. Apart from when it's your birthday, that's all I know in German currently. Anyway, hope you can make sense of that. Okay, so first heat are about to come out now. Let's see how hot they set off. Two and a half laps. So that is the first heat come out, underway. I thought people come out hotter than that, they look quite good actually, not smashing it. Bag drop, that's our kick going away. And that's our split to go now, so we'll see you on the side. Okay, that's us done the event. It was absolutely wicked. Um, Ross and I got one hour, three minutes. So we'll see where that puts us in our age group. I think it's the top three from each age group qualified for Vegas, so fingers crossed we managed to flag it. Felt really good, the first couple of rounds, just getting our eye in really for pacing and understanding the route, like running round and where you come in and stuff. Each time you come in, you'll see the big behind me over here, the inn. So we did two full loops, then ran back into the inn. You'll come and do your station, exit your station, head out again for another two loops, but well, it's like almost three loops actually. Come back in the inn, come and hit a station and back out. So you repeat that for eight times. Um, we started off with a ski held pretty decent tempo on there. We didn't want to get caught up. The guys left and right of us were putting like a 130 on the ski. And I was like, oh, I'm going to sit at like a 145 here. And then and we did 250, it's, it's 1,000 metres, we were at 250, 250, 250, 250. And then by the end, we are holding what, what we wanted to hold and the other guys are blown up. So I think there's a, a lot of people here who aren't crossfitters and they just need to get used to all these different movements. Um, after the ski, we went straight into the sled push, which was, I thought it was going to be really, really difficult. In the warm-up area, I pushed the sled, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be in so much trouble here. And it actually wasn't too bad. Um, so that, that, that was quite cool, we got away from that. After that, the sled pull, push went to sled pull, which was really good. That's like a hand-over-hand -hand one. Um, that was number three. Four was the burpee broad jump. It's pretty difficult, to be fair. Um, obviously, got your heart rate up doing the burpee broad jumps, but obviously, we were in a pair, so we did like five. The other person did five and rolled through like that, which is pretty good. Um, number six, and then six was, I'm looking around to find it here, farmer's carry. Pretty easy, 24 uh, kilos in each hand. Um, I missed the rower. Rower's been five. The row was good. We actually broke it up. I did 300. Ross did 400. I did 300. We're just trying to. Um, protect Ross a little bit on the runs. He was struggling a little bit more than me on the runs. He's a, he's a lot bigger than me. A lot stronger than me and all the other movements though. Um, after so five was the row, six was five was carries. The lunges were good fun. It's 20 kilos, sandbag across both shoulders. Just normal things, step forward and stand, stand yourself back up, knee touch the floor. So that, that was really good. I think I did the first bit again. 
lost a little bit of gas from the runs, Ross did the middle section, I did the last bit. And then lastly was number eight was the wall balls. We managed to roll through uh, 20 each, so I did the first 20, 20, 20, 20, and I transitioned in the air, which made up so much time. We actually beat another team because we did that. They were fast enough on the runs, but we caught up on those. Um, yeah, there's water stations in here, which is really good. So just before you go out on each run, there's a water station and stuff like that. So it's a really well organized event. You come in, actually I'll do a full round up afterwards of the full event, but yeah. So just to give you an idea, I'll do one more overview of what it is. Hopefully you heard me there of all the speakers going on. Um, I'm not sure, maybe I need to get a microphone, but yeah. That's it for now. I'll go and catch up with Ross. I've just got some videos of bits and pieces just to mash in so you get a rough idea of what the event looks like. Here we go. Young man, we're going to Vegas. All done. All Qualified done. World Championships. Um, we're just walking back. We've done it. We're on the podium. Uh, managed to win this event, which is so cool. Buzzing for that. Um, especially, it's our first one. We didn't really know what to expect. I've done about three weeks specific training for about, this event. About four years. Is real. No, no, honestly, <laughs> like, like, just, just tra training tra up for this one particular moment <laughs> yeah. in his life. Just to change training slightly for this. And Ross did none. He went for a 10k run and that, that was it. But he did have some, he has got some cheater shoes on. He's got some Nikes, which are banned from everywhere. So they're such <laughs> cheaters. And I ran in Nanos, which was an absolute mistake. Um, so like, I want to know, Ross, what did you think from the start? You, you were just talking then. I thought I'd get the camera out and good. talk it's about just, it. It's an hour's, it's an hour's gas. Um, no real weight apart from the sled, which is tough when you're hanging, when you're breathing out your ass. But apart from that, it's just managing your gas levels for an hour. That's it. Yeah, I, I thought like the first part, the first um, 20 minutes came out you so thick and fast with like yes. run, ski, run, sled, yeah, that run, was, that was, sled, was, run, row, that wasn't was it? That was pure, pure CrossFit gas. Yeah, the, the first, first bit. 10, 15 minutes. And, and for me, I then eased in. So after the first sort of 20, 25 minutes, I then eased into then a good tempo. it changed to an endurance event. Yeah, yeah. it didn't change yeah. to endurance. That's right. Yeah, so the first bit is pretty strength orientated. Even uh, like the, the just ski. power, power, up power, up. power, power yeah. Up, yeah. yeah, was was high, and then it just changed into like a bit of a, a yeah, it's like you say, more of a steady Slog. state. Yeah, where Mind can we make right level and just stay there? Yeah, it's cool. It's really nice to be able to split up the work. We cha we changed the work. We had a rough idea what we we're going to do. We just said whoever's more gassed on the run goes second on each movement. Yeah, it worked quite a lot. Yeah, it worked really well. So I was just generally coming in. And then like the CrossFit stuff, we destroyed people. The Burpee broad jumps. Yeah, Burpee broad the, jumps. And the wall jumps. And the wall balls. Wall, wall lunges. Like, we were just leaving people. Yeah, so that made a difference. So we're going to Vegas, which is amazing. <laughs> as long as uh, my wife says yes, we're going to Vegas. <laughs> um, I mean, really cool. It's so good to go out there and do it. And now we, can, we, we know what we need to work on. Like we can go back and, and do a little bit of running. It's li yeah, literally it's run the run. Speed, it's it? just run yeah. speed for us. Not done a lot of it recently. Um, buy some new shoes which will help me <laughs> hashtag buy tom new shoes um yeah so that's us that's the end of the video we're gonna um we're flying back out today so we flew in yesterday last night competed now we fly back out tonight so it's a quick turnaround um just to see what munich was like um i'm signed up for london um ross has got some members from his gym going to london as well so we're yeah, gonna meet up in london and watch it see what's going on um yeah we'll, we'll go from there i hope you like this hope we give you a bit of an insight to the high rocks events and hopefully catch you next time see you later